you think, Jeff, this is an opportunity, I guess, for all of us to learn in your opinion. What do you think that soccer pundits, not necessarily just one soccer, but feel free if um, that's where you want to take this. What do you think we get wrong as pundits? Or maybe we overlook a detail or what, where, what do you think we could do our jobs better? No, I think, um, I think the biggest thing is that um, sometimes you'll hear comments that, you know, about your squad or about squad selection or this pair and that way. And often these comments come without having seen what's happened in training all week. And I think that's the biggest thing is, is you don't have the luxury to see what happens Monday to Friday and, and why managers are making certain decisions and um, why you might have felt uh, a certain system is better against one team than another or a certain style of play is, you know, so yeah, I mean, we worked, for example, against Forge, you know, we, we took criticism, we beat them a game in Hamilton, and, um, and we never really deserved to win the game, I would say they, they dominated possession, they had the ball so much and, and uh, we went up one nil. Um, and then we scored a second goal that uh, was off there, I think they, it was a known goal. And um, so that's a game that yeah, you know, even you look at the stats and we were the better team, absolutely not, they, they were but but the actual the game unfolded exactly the way that we had wanted it to unfold. We, we knew that that's a team that we were happy to let them cross the ball against us. We worked the entire week. We worked on, on letting them have the ball out wide, not letting Borges come inside, letting them cross the ball, letting them have it in their half and even kind of on the outskirts of our half. And um, so the game plan, although it wasn't pretty, went exactly as, as predicted and we got a result there. And um, you know, and, yeah, and I understand it's not pretty or sometimes or, or, or beautiful on the eye to watch that football, but it's what we had planned on. And, and because no one saw the work that went in uh, the week before to prepare, uh, prepare for that game, then negative comments come, you know, and, and things are said about the squad's poor or this or that. But, you know, again, the players have done what they've been asked. So that would be the only thing for me, really, is just maybe understanding a bit more what happens behind the scenes or, and why decisions are being made. It's a very yeah. valid point. Uh, Kurt or Ollie, any last questions for Jeff? We're getting close to the, the end of our time here before we get to our one last inventory check. But anything final for Jeff? Oliver, can I take your question? Yeah, go for it. All right. Duran Lee is an interesting pickup for you guys. Uh, I thought he was a really good mid-season pickup uh, by Halifax last year. Duran Lee also had other offers in the CPL potentially even more lucrative offers, yet he decided to turn those down for Edmonton. How did you convince him to do that? Because I told him I was going to play him where I believed he should be playing in this league and if he wants his game to grow and get to another level. And that says more of an attack-minded attack, attack -minded, uh, player um, than, just, than just being a center back. And uh, a lot of teams liked him as a center back. He can certainly play that position, but I think you, you limit him when you put him there because he is uh, good on the ball. He can dribble with the ball. And... Um, and early signs in training about his left foot and ability to cross the ball. We've not had that this club since Lance Lang. So, so it was really just the, the belief in him. Um, I, I, I talked about my belief in him as a player and that he could offer more in his game and um, that I wanted to help him get there. So I think that's why he's, he's chosen this club.